I just was. Well, because of this dog, my life changed in so many ways. I have three grandsons. And little Joseph was at my house, and I have this rock wall in the backyard, and in the rock wall lives a chipmunk. Normally, I have him removed. But now that I'm not afraid of animals anymore, I kind of like having the chipmunk there. We named him Chippy, and I feed him food. I, he didn't like macaroni, so I feed, him, <laughs> I feed him Cheerios, and he loves the Cheerios. And anytime you put the Cheerios out, Chippy comes, and we just love watching him. He's so darn cute. So Joseph came over, and we were waiting for Chippy to come out. We put the Cheerios, and Chippy came out. And as a grandmother, you know, I'm taking pictures of every stinking part of this. And uh, then a bluebird came and scared Chippy, and Chippy ran back into the rock wall. And Joseph said, that's not right. And I said, get out of here. That's for the chipmunk. Well, Joseph said, Noni, we need, he tells me, Noni, Noni, we need to teach the bluebird how to share. <laughs> I said, that's not going to happen, honey. It's a bird. They got a bird brain. They can't learn nothing. Mm. He said, let's just try, Noni. Let's put some Cheerios on the top step and on the bottom step and see if we can get them to share. Well, the bluebird came down first on the top step, and a few minutes later, Chippy came out and started eating the Cheerios. And, of course, I'm snapping pictures. I just think this is fantastic. And Joseph says, look, Noni, Chippy learned how to share. So, of course, as soon as I got the pictures, I wrote this book with Joseph, Chippy Learns How to Share. And it's a beautiful little book with all these pictures in. And I had Joseph as the author at five years old. My Joseph is a published author. That would not have happened had I not found a way to overcome this fear. So wonderful, wonderful things can happen if you just change the experiences in your life. And I tell you this because a lot of the things we're afraid of, well, for me, I was afraid of dogs because of that incident when I got bit by a dog. It was a real traumatic thing for me. But some people are, they don't want to try this kind of food. They never had it before. Or they don't want to be associating with this kind of person because they, they're not used to that. Or they, a lot of things that we don't do, they're not even our ideas. There's some prejudice our parents put in our heads that wasn't even our own idea. So we need to really come together as a country and love one another, regardless of what we like and dislike, and maybe try something new. So I challenge you to have lunch with somebody that you might not ordinarily have lunch with at work or whatever, or be nice to somebody in the neighborhood that you've never encountered before and see what happens. Life is amazing when, when you do that. Well, 